Did you get your grades yet? Yeah. My whole GPA is screwed up now. Why? What happened? Well, I bombed my econ final and ended up with a 1.7. Ouch. You must be very disappointed. Well, it's my fault because I didn't study as much as I should have. Why don't you retake the class next year? That's what I plan on doing unless I keep screwing up. How did you do this semester? I didn't do that well either. I ended up with a 3.2 this semester. That drops my total GPA to 3.45. My GPA is pretty similar to yours. I have a 3.1 now because of the stupid econ class. What was your GPA before this semester? I was sitting happy with a 3.4. Why did it go down so much? Let's just say I screwed up more than my econ class. What happened to you? I started playing StarCraft and ended up wasting a lot of time. You better stop slacking off. You're right. I'm not going to play games during school anymore. Hey John, did you register for classes yet? I register this Friday. What classes do you plan on taking? I really want to take the communication class, but I don't know if it will be available. Is that class really that popular? Yeah. I tried to get in last semester, but it was full by the time I registered. What other classes are you going to take? I still need to take English 201, but I really don't like writing. I took that class already. There is a lot of writing, but it's not that bad. Oh really? Who was the instructor? There are like four different instructors to choose from. I had Professor Mahoney. Is he an easy grader? I'm not sure if he is or not, but I thought he was definitely fair. Do you mind if I ask you what you got? Not at all. I got a 3.8. Well, what did you get in English 101 last year? I got a 4.0 in that class. Well, I can't compare to you. I got a 3.1 in English 101. That means if you got a lower grade in English 201, it must be harder. It's not what it appears. I actually tried harder in the 101 class. If I put as much effort into the 201 class, I would have received the same grade. Oh. That helps. Thanks. Hey Lisa, wait up. I've wanted to have a chance to talk to you. Hi. What's up? This weekend I'm having a birthday party for Ted. I'd like you to come. I'd love to. When is it? We're having it this Saturday at 8 o'clock at my house. We're going to order a pizza and play some games. Then whoever wants to stay longer can hang out and watch a video. It sounds like a lot of fun. But now that I think about it, I promised I would do something with Nathan Saturday night. Well why don't you bring him along? It would be fun. Ted would really like that. I'm sure. Really? That would be great. Okay, I'll ask Nathan to come along. What can I bring? Nothing. Just bring yourselves. No presents are necessary and everything else has been planned. I'm calling about the available room. Is it still available? Yes it is. Do you know where we're located? Yeah. I drove by this morning and I liked the location. What's the rent? It's $850 a month. So you would pay $425 a month plus half of the bills. How big is the place? It's a two-bedroom. One bath in roughly about 800 square feet. 
Is the complex pretty quiet? Can you hear a lot of noise or anything like that? They have a strict policy in the apartment complex concerning noise level. So it stays very quiet after 10 p.m. Are you the only person who lives there now? Yeah. I'm only looking for one roommate. Everything sounds good. Can we schedule a time to meet so I can look at the place? I'm available anytime today or tomorrow. How about if I come over now? That works with me. But what is your name? Oh, my name is Brad. Okay. I'm Randy. So I'll see you in a bit? Should only take about 15 minutes to get there. Sounds good. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a place to eat. Can you tell me if there are any restaurants in this mall? Sure. There are several. What kind of food are you thinking about? I'm not sure. Anything but fast food. There is a nice Japanese restaurant upstairs. It's a little pricey but the food is good. Oh. Sounds good, but I ate Japanese food last night. I'd rather try something else. Okay. How about Italian? Or maybe Chinese? Italian sounds good, but so does Chinese. I just can't decide. Are there any American places here? Yes, there's a very good steakhouse downstairs. And you'll find TGI Fridays across the parking lot. What about either of those? I'm sorry to be such a bother, but nothing strikes my fancy. I guess I just won't eat anything for a while. Well, I'm afraid that's all there is here in the mall. That's too bad. I'm sorry about my indecision. I guess what, what I really need is a good buffet. I remember going to a buffet not far from here. They have foods from several different countries. It's about two blocks away. It's quite good, too. That sounds great. Maybe I should do that. Hi. What's your name? My name is Jungman. What's your name? My name is Jessica. It's nice to meet you. Yes. It's nice to meet you too. Are you a new student too? No. I'm a sophomore. I take it you are a new student? Yeah. It's pretty exciting to be here. Have fun while it lasts. The excitement wears off real quick. Especially after you see how much homework you get. Where are you from? I'm from Korea. My parents wanted me to go to an American university, so I came here. I have never been to Korea. I've been to Japan before, but never Korea. Why were you in Japan? My father thought it would be a good experience to take a vacation to a different country. He's so into learning about different cultures. That's pretty cool. I thought it would have been more fun if I went without my parents. Well, if you ever want to visit Korea, I would be happy to show you around. Thanks for the offer. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, the professor is coming. We'll talk more after class. Okay. She looks for the TV remote. She looks under the cushions. She looks under the sofa. She looks around the living room. She looks on the dining room table. She goes to the kitchen. She sees the remote. It is on the kitchen counter. She picks it up. She goes back to the living room. There are boxes on the floor. She opens a box. There are books in the box. She takes out the books. She puts the books on the bookshelf. She opens another box. 
There are plates in the box. She takes out the plates. She puts them in the kitchen cabinet. He stands on the corner. He sells purses. He says, ten dollars. Over and over. Many women stop. They look at all the purses. They pick up the purses. They look inside the purses. They put the purses on their shoulders. Many women buy a purse. Some women buy two purses. So Sarah, do you play any musical instruments? Yeah. I play too. I love to play the guitar. I started playing in college, and I like to play the piano, too. I started learning the piano when I was really young. How about you? Oh that's interesting. For me, I started playing the trumpet when I was really young, and I don't play it much anymore. But I started playing the piano when I finished high school. And I still play it now. Oh wow. So you started learning the piano when you were older. Yes. Do you think people can start to learn an instrument at any age? Yes, I think so. Do you have a theory about that? Yeah. I think that if people start to play an instrument when they were older, I think they enjoy it more because they chose to learn it. And I think they're going to play it longer. But if you have to learn an instrument when you're younger, I think you want to continue playing it. Oh, because you have to practice for homework or something like that. Yeah. I have five brothers. And we all learned how to play the piano. But as soon as my brothers graduated from high school and went away, they stopped playing the piano. And they don't play it now. In fact, they forgot everything. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, I do think that music education is very important for children because reading sheet music is like reading a language. And children can learn it much easier than adults learn. So no matter what instrument you play, if you're a child you learn how to read music. And I think, too, it's really important for kids to be a part of a group like that. For example, singing in the choir or playing music in the orchestra. I think it's really good for kids to learn to work together and make music as a team. I have some really good memories about being a young kid in the orchestra. Me too. I was also in choir and orchestra and marching band. So I don't play the orchestra instruments anymore and I don't play the marching band instruments anymore but I'm very glad that I had the experience of learning to read music and learning to work together as a team. That's true. Me too. Okay. I changed my mind. Even little kids. They should learn how to play a musical instrument. Hey Mike, I forgot about registration. I'm a day late, so all the classes are mostly full. What do you think I should do? You're screwed. You can't do anything about that. You have to hope that you get some classes that will be useful. Do you think going to the registration building will help at all? No. They will tell you the same thing in a worse way. Did you register yet? Of course. Registering for classes is not something you want to miss. What classes do you think are still open? Well, I know Psychology 101 is a big class, so there will always be seats in that class. You can also get into Sociology. That's helpful. Thanks. But what do you think about philosophy? 
I wanted to take that class this semester. I took that class last year. The professor is really cool, so if you go to his office, you can have him sign a card that will let you in even if the class is full. He does that? I guess that's because so many people drop out of that class. That makes sense. I think I'll do that. Thanks for all the help. No problem, man. Hi. My name is Jack. Hey, Jack. I'm Seth. It's nice to meet you. Looks like we're going to be roommates. Yeah? So where are you from? I'm from Takuma. How about you? I'm from Ontario. In Canada? No. It's in California. It's a smaller city in Southern California. So what made you come here? I wanted to go to a different state. I see. Hey, if you don't mind, I took this side of the room. No problem. They look the same to me. Are you a morning person or a night person? I'm a night person. That's great. So am I. I like to sleep in the morning. That should work out well then. Hi. I'm Sarah. My name is Jessica. It's nice to meet you. Yes. It's nice to meet you as well. Have you been here long? I got here about an hour ago. Do you want me to show you around? Yeah. That would be great. The most important is the bathroom, right? Definitely. But we have to share the bathroom with the whole floor. The break room is over there. The bathroom is right across from the break room. And finally, the raw resident advisor is in room 315. I'm glad there is a TV in the break room. I like to watch TV. Me too. So I brought one. I haven't unpacked it yet, but it's a little TV that works. Cool. I brought a refrigerator. I like to store some snacks in there. Feel free to use it. That would be perfect. I think we're going to have a great time. Do you sleep pretty late, or are you a morning person? I have never been either. I'm very flexible with sleeping times. Anyways, I'm a deep sleeper so a little noise never bothers me. That's good to know. I'm usually a night person, but I'm very quiet if my roommate is sleeping. As long as you don't blast the music while I'm sleeping, I should be fine. Did you eat lunch yet? No. Is there a cafeteria in the building? Yeah. I'll show you. Thanks for watching. Please share and like if you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much. Please subscribe to update new videos.